So doing a redo of the Volder test with these Ryobi 40 volt power stations. This time with two of them. Uh, that's my old one. That's the new one. Uh, for whatever reason in some load testing I was doing with them paralleled, they're not sharing the load evenly. My old one picks up most of the load for whatever reason, like right now. It's saying 9% load. The other one over there is saying 0. So I don't know if it's an issue of slightly different firmware because this one's older. Or if this is just a common issue with these things because buying new one of these and four batteries is over a thousand dollars. So I'm not going to constantly keep buying these things even though I've got a use for these two. Uh, at least I don't like a deal or a huge influx of capital, which I don't see happening in the near future, given the way the world's headed. So, first off, what was the uh, bane of my previous testing, when I only had the uh, one of them, is these are 564th inch, yes, they exist, uh, 7014s. Ampere's uh, one uh, 554 714 works. There we go, two beads. Also, generally a bad idea to weld on a wood surface, but you know, what can you do? Can we... All right, now to see what we can't, what the uh, meter on the thing shows.
So to summarize, if you're using 564 uh, 7014 rods, um, uh, 1 16th 7018, they'll work with uh, two of these. A um, lot cheaper than the equivalent to uh, a Fronius Active Pocket or Trans Pocket, whatever their battery power welders. And you've got double or more than double the battery capacity, and you can use it for other stuff like tools. So yeah, and um, also important thing when you're paralleling these, just as a you know, conclusion of the video, um, when you're connecting the paralleling cable, make sure both units are off because the way that the synchronization in these works is when the thing is first turned on, or the inverter is first turned on, if it doesn't see any output or if, if it doesn't see a live output then it just energizes it as normal if it turns on and it sees ac on its output then it'll amplitude frequency and phase match that but it needs to be or that inverter needs to start out de-energized first because if you were to turn these both on and then plug the uh, paralleling cable in Depending on how the role of the phases of the output waveforms, it could be worse than a dead short, so uh, don't do that. So yeah. You know, I was doing this, it's like, at least for you know, up to the 70 ampere limit of this thing on 120 volts.